Hello my magical friends and welcome back. It's day 11 of Christmas, which means it's Christmas Eve. Very Merry Christmas Eve to all of you. I cannot wait to spend tomorrow with you guys also with our giveaway winner announcement. The giveaways did close today at 12 p.m. So stay tuned for our announcement tomorrow on Christmas Day. But I thought we would end our creative series with another DIY potion. Tonight is the Yule Ball. So in light of the Yule Ball happening tonight, I thought we would make a Yule Ball themed potion. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you can stay up to date with all future uploads. And follow me on all my social media so you can see everything going on over there. But we're gonna get right into this guy so if you want to see me make this potion then keep on watching okay guys so we've got quite a few items here for this yule ball themed potion we're gonna do I'm kind of winging this one we have a lot of things but I don't know if I'm gonna use them all we're gonna see how things turn out but I've got these little mini Christmas trees to hopefully get in there I've got this snowball-y type ribbon to put on top we've got some silver glitter we've got some blue we've got some blue glitter glue some gems and some soft snow so we'll see what we're gonna do with this but I'm definitely gonna get started with our potion bottle here so we're gonna open this up I definitely want it to be like a snowy bottom and we're probably going to mix it with some of that blue glitter just to get that color that's really associated around the Yule Ball. Okay, everyone, so things got all messy with this fake snow here. It, yeah, spills out everywhere. So I'm going to try to put it in this cup and then we are going to pour it in. Okay, you guys, so we filled the potion bottle with glitter and the snow. So I'm just going to close it real quick and shake it all up to get it more mixed and get those accents really going. Yeah, look at that blue. I love it. That is just great to see. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so like a winter Yule Ball. And I can't wait. Okay, now that we have that mixed up, we are going to get some of our little trees out. Okay, so I'm definitely only going to use smaller ones, but I'm going to try to get that nice three tree Christmas scene in the Yule Ball, hopefully. Ooh. Okay, and then I'm gonna see if I can get some tweezers and move them around so we can have them lined up nicely. Okay, so we got our tweezers here and now we are gonna go in and move these around, hopefully. Okay guys, so I finally got the trees upright. I'm not gonna like bend it over to show you right now because I don't want them to fall. But now we are going to move on to our label. 
So I want to place the label first before doing anything else. And this is a pre-cut label. It's just like a sticker label. And we are going to name this, I think, because of the way we're looking. It's like a snow globe and it's like Christmas in the snow. I think we're going to name this the Yule Snow Potion. Yes. Springtime. Some snow at the Yule Ball. Let's go with that. So let it let's get this off and we will get this onto our bottle. Okay, so we're going to place this. I'm going to do it more down below so we can keep the image of the trees in the background. But here is our Yule Snow Potion. I'm probably going to have to move the trees again. I don't even know why I bothered before. <laughs> But anyways, so I might not use this glue. I think we're just going to use the gems and move on to making our snowflake pattern that we see on the Yule Ball bottles. Okay guys, so I'm going to put the snowflake on the opposite side of the label. So I am going to make my center here in the middle of the bottle. Stick my first gem down and now we are going to make our snowflake and see how this goes. Okay, everyone, and there we have our snowflake on the back. This is really cool. I like using the pearls. Obviously, not exactly to our Yule Ball bottle, but I thought the pearls would be a nice effect to this Christmas Yule Ball potion. But now I am going to fix up the trees, and then we are going to tie this ribbon around the bottle. Okay, everyone, here we have it. Our Yule Snow Potion is complete. Of course, one of the trees already fell down, but those are really tricky to get standing up in there. But this is officially our Yule Snow Potion. I am so pleased with how it came out. I love the snowflake with the pearls in the bag. I wanted to put like a spiral touch of snow on top there with the ribbon instead of making a bow this time to give it a different effect. So I really, really like the way this came out. Okay, everyone, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed this DIY potion. I had so much fun making it. I think I might like the way my other Holly Jelly Potion came out, whatever I named it, but I will leave the link in the description down below for that one. But I still had a lot of fun with this. It was just a little tricky with those trees, but if you guys try this at home, let me know how you make out with this, what your thoughts are on this potion. Let me know everything in the comments down below. But like I said before, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. If you like what you saw today, smash that like button and share this video around to all your friends and family. And as always, follow me on all my social media so you can see everything going on over there. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a very happy Christmas Eve. And I soundly swear I will see you all in the next video.